Hello everyone, it's Chad here, and this is a sneak peek into Abzu. Now for those of you who are not aware, this is a adventure game developed by Giant Squid Studios, published by 505 Games, and is for the PlayStation 4 and Microsoft Windows, and was released on August the 2nd. Now, for those of you out there who have a PS3, and remember a game called Journey, well, this is from essentially the same art director and is a game about exploration. And you can see you've got, I'm using mouse, but you can also use controller if that's what you wish to do. So you can hold to swim like that. There we go. And you can continue. There we go. Press the boost. And you're into the water. Now, obviously, one of these, uh, this particular game is a uh, pretty much an adventure game. Not really going to see a huge amount of text, or not an amount of interaction with other players. You'll be unlikely to see other players. It's about, it's about a story about this young fellow here and... It's an unfolding story that you get to experience through this wonderful effect of swimming. It gives you a real sense of, I suppose, weightlessness, weightlessness that, and freedom. And it is quite astoundingly beautiful, I have to say. And the music makes for a good combination. So you can see there, I'm going to swim forward. And you get shoals of fish all over the place. You get shoals. So you can see we can jump out of the water if that's what we want to do. Now, let me tell you about the, uh, the options. You can see here, there's an option for the swim pitch, the camera pitch, and the camera yaw. So you can have it inverted however you wish to have it. Obviously, controls vary between controller and mouse and keyboard. So... Essentially, you're going to be swimming around, investigating all these various areas, discovering the world in which you have been dropped, I suppose you could say, but also about the flora and the fauna that is present on this world, as well as learn a story about your traveller. Now, one thing you can do is if you hold down the shift button, you can actually ride this gentleman. And there we go. On this great big huge grouper, I suppose you could call him. There you go, Goliath Grouper. Shows you his name in the bottom right hand corner. And you can do this with a lot of the animals that you see. Look at that. Now, one thing you do have the option of doing is you can continue swimming around and there are various sort of like waypoints where you can get meditation areas and also you can get certain little places where it enables you to sort of act as a a marker point so to speak so we can continue to swim around this area now here are the little whirlpools where you can have various bits and pieces now also communication if you hold down the space bar it sends a little sonic pulse and that can attract fish it can repulse fish it can get people's attention you can tap it several times like that so you've got a various a variation of communication options you can go a little bit closer here it's a nice little pool Let's go and swim around and see what else we have around here. And it definitely gives you a nice feeling of the weightlessness, as I uh, mentioned earlier. See, look at that. See, the fish coming towards you, flocking around you, and all sorts of things like that. And the Union Army completely ruining the mood. Thank you, Union Army, you buggers. Look 
Now, let's see what we can find around here, shall we, as we explore around the area. Now, what happens is as you start to explore certain areas, you'll see certain areas can be walled off. So you'll get to an area along this position and you'll find maybe one of these little guys. Now think of him as a little sentinel to help you out, but also to give you a physical manifestation within this world. There we go, happy little fella. Now what you can do just give him a little command with the space bar. And he'll get out his little saw. And you can also communicate with him. See? And he'll communicate with you. Repeat your, repeat your uh, message. And continue like that. So, let's make our way through. Oh, look at that. Isn't he beautiful? And so, what you do on this particular game is you essentially just discover the amazing world that you are in. The animals that you come across. See, look at that. How they all flock together. Look at that. Up the top. A nice little area here. Let's see what's up the top, shall we? Let's try and get in there this time. There we go. Oops, a daisy. Now you can hang upside down if you want to, but let's just go. And there we go. You can see. Quite the water world. Press the right mouse button, and down you go. Now, as someone who loves swimming, and has done since I was a kid, this does give a very good effect of swimming does give you a good sense of that sort of feeling of freedom and also as told earlier that sort of feeling of weightlessness so all you basically have to do is look around follow the atmosphere see what's going on and follow the story because there is a story and look at this, just glide around, just so graceful, just beautiful. So, now you can see here, we're going to make our way through, look there's more fishies up the top. And let's see what's going on over here. See look, you even get a little crab, little crabby friend underneath there, look at that. Clickety clickety click. And the music that you get with this particular game is very very calming creates a very very comp i think the word is complimentary at uh very complements it very well now obviously because look at that i mean just look at that isn't that just stunning so we'll swim down now what you also have as part of the story is you have these sort of gateway areas now these gateway areas can be many things but let's go in and just give you a brief look as to what one of these is now this is essentially the story mode now what i'm not going to do is i'm not going to play it through too much because i heartily encourage you if ex exploration games are your thing to check this out now the reason for that is because everybody's experience with a story will be different in some way there will be certain aspects of the story that will resonate with certain people in different aspects. And I'm saying aspects too many times. Lots of aspects of those aspects of those aspects. But the point is, is the fact that the story should be experienced by you as a gamer. And this is the kind of thing that you can actually play with your friends or just play alone when you're in, a room, in the mood to relax and chill. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Then we'll swim forward. And this uh, this game is similar, in, obviously, in respect to uh, Journey. And uh, sort of sparked the debate as to whether or not games can be art 
in its true sense. So it should make for some interesting debate on the subject, that's for sure. I personally am a big fan of this game. I have found it to be very, very enjoyable. And I have been intrigued by the story and the character that we are playing. Now let's press the space bar. And then we can interact. And there we go. And then watch this. Wow, look at that. But the point is in this story, there's not necessarily an instant explanation as to what everything is in the story. And that's, I think, is an important part of this game and an important part of any story, really. You don't want to tell the whole story together. You want a certain amount of vagaries so that you can then get your interest peaked just that little bit further. And there are some certain puzzle aspects within the game, but they're not too difficult. They're the kind of things that, you know, you can work out quite easily and it doesn't detract. You don't get stuck in a massive, massive way. Oh, hello. Look at him. Isn't he lovely? Can we get... Yes, there we go. And look at us. Ray surfing. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? And listen to that music in the background. Obviously ruined by my commentary. But this is the kind of game that you can sit there and just space out to and enjoy the colours around you. Now obviously we've seen a lot of games uh, I mean obviously Battlefield 4 was one example where colourisation sort of gives you a very muted palette uh, with respect to the colour but in this particular game the palette is almost like an integral part of the game I mean look at that Isn't that stunning? But then it also means that there's not necessarily an explanation as to what this is. So you're left with questions. Maybe those questions will be answered later on in the story. Or maybe they'll remain as a mystery. It's difficult to tell. But this is what we're talking about, about it being a experience in many, many ways. So let's make our way through. Now, you can see making our way through the cave here. Now, part of this story, obviously, is about the wildlife that you're sharing the sea with. And to a certain degree, it could be about things like, whoa, I was about to say connections you'll make with people or predominantly animals. Now, obviously our connection came to a sudden and very toothy end there. Our poor little drone got murdered horribly by a big shark with teeth. Now, let's have a look around here. Oh, wow. Look at this. And the thing is, is we can go down some. Now, obviously, if you go too far away, it will direct you back in the direction you need to go. But look at this. And listen to that music. Look at that. Leatherback sea turtles. What happens with these particular pools? is it essentially releases animals into the environment. So let's see if we can get on this little turtle. There we go, look at that. The leatherback sea turtle. We hitch a ride with our friend here. As he gracefully glides through the sea. And you can see that the volumetric effects are quite impressive. So you do get that feeling of darker depth in the sea and still obviously the light 
tapering off as it comes to you with the light shining through those god rays, so to speak. But these are the kind of animals that you can form a connection with. So let's just let him go. Let's see what's over here. Is there anything up the top? So this is where we came out. And we can go up if we wish. Now, there is a certain level. You can see there that little bit of movement there. <laughs> you can actually build up a certain motion. Look at this. Isn't this just beautiful? With the flocking together of all these guys. And we're just using the sound pulse to keep their attention focused. And you can see there a big entrance and look at that he's just interacting with the fish look at that a curious touch and there's other fish coming in to feed on the available fish so there is essentially an ecosystem within this game and a very very beautiful one at that so you come across large stretches like this as part of your exploration. Look at that, it's like it's watching you. And there we go, we knock on the door. So, that is a very, very sneak peek at the exploration game Abzu. Now, personally, as far as I'm concerned, I absolutely love this game. I really, really do. It is so relaxing and enthralling. And you have great curiosity, well, I do anyway, for the story that you play. So, you can find it on Steam. And it is available. So, if you fancy having your own exploration story and enjoy the beauty and the wonder around you, then I would recommend that you go and have a look at Abzu. Thank you for watching.